question 1 of afm this question is from your revision kit bpp revision kit so i'm going to discuss this and i'm going to go through the answer how an answer is presented basically i'm going through the revision kit of afm right from bpp text from bpp i follow bpp textbook so i'm following bpp revision kit now this video is will be more beneficial to those who doesn't have an access to the textbook they don't have a hard copy right or they have soft copy or or they have the book but they don't know how to approach the question the revision gate questions so this video is beneficial for those okay so let's go okay row question 1 to 10 of your revision kit covers the section a part which is your roles and responsibility towards stakeholders right section a is role of senior financial advisor now question one one thing you have to notice right this is 6 11 that means the 6 is june and this 11 is that means 2011 so this is 2011 it is outdated now but still for the theory part for the knowledge part we can cover these questions it's better we do these questions right for your knowledge part because as I told you, section A is theory part. So the best way to work through theory is to practice this type of questions. Note from September 2018 questions that a holy narrative will not be set. Yes, you will never be asked a question where it is full theories. It will be a mixture of theory and number, right? So you will be given some calculations, some numbers. Based on that, you have to write theory. But all your questions will be like that. So this, I have taken a past paper from 2011, right? And this 45 minutes means they are telling that for this question, you have to spend 49 minutes. But actually, when you see, this is a 25 marks question. So you have to spend 36 minutes because 1.8 into 25, right? But since if you... Uh, if you have a habit of doing questions in a chronological order right let's say you open your revision kid and you have a habit of starting from question one right so in that case you will be spending more time which is perfectly all right because usually when you start first you need to spend more time you cannot just spend 36 minutes you will be spending more than that but that's perfectly fine right because you're just getting used to it you're just starting in the journey so it will take some time for you to get used to the time management right so now let's go through this case study right mezzo company is a large food manufacturing and wholesale company what is it into it's a large food uh, manufacturing and wholesale company so let me underline that food manufacturing and wholesale company right you always need to mark which industry the company is at based on that your questions will answer will change it imports fruits and vegetables from countries in south america africa and asia that and packages them in steel cans and plastic tubes and as frozen foods for sale to supermarkets around europe so can you understand the scenario now right whenever you read some sentence you need to visualize that in your mind right that you are that mezzo company whenever you open a question paper you always have to assume that you are that company right don't think that mezzo is some other country uh, other company assume you are the this is your company mezzo company is yours right and you are a large food manufacturing and wholesale company so assume like that right and now what is happening is it its supply is range from individual farmers to government run cooperatives and farmers farms run by its own subsidiary companies now you need to know why they are giving about suppliers and uh, farmers and all those things because they are your stakeholders right you need to be careful of your stakeholders especially in the theory part you will be given questions on ethics on environmental issues on stakeholders so this type of questions we can expect right where was i okay in the past in the past mezzo company has been very successful in its activities and has an excellent corporate image with its customer suppliers and employees so that means it has an excellent corporate image with its customer supplier and employees that is in the past right 
Indeed, Meso Company prides itself on how it has supported local farming communities around the world and has consistently highlighted these activities in its annual report. Right? It has consistently it has supported local farming. Right? It consistently highlighted these activities in its annual reports. However, in spite of a boy buoyant uh, beyond the stock markets over the last couple of years, Meso Company share price has remained static. Right, it has remained static. It didn't increase. It didn't decrease. Previously, announcements to the stock market about growth potential led to an increase in the share price. Right, it is thought that the stable. Uh, it is thought that the stable state is because there is a little scope for future growth in its products. So, as a result, the company's directors are considering diversifying into new areas. One possibility is to commercialize a product developed by a recently acquired subsidiary company. The subsidiary company is engaged in researching solutions to carbon emissions and global warming and has developed a high carbon absorbing variety of plant that can be grown in warm shallow sea water. The plant would then be harvested into a carbon neutral biofuel. This fuel if widely used is expected to lower carbon production levels that much is good. Right? It's going to lower the carbon emission. Now let's go to the. So currently, currently there's a lot of interest among the world's government in finding solutions to climate change. Meso company. All these are all these are general knowledge. If you just read it, we all know that the world is facing climate issues and also this is nothing new, right? Some of these answers based on your previous understanding, your knowledge acquired from your previous studies or your, or if you're working, all this. Uh, you must have read a lot of articles, right? So all some of the things you can even answer from that. You don't have to specifically memorize notes from your textbook to answer this type of questions, right? It's about climate change. So Meso Company's directors feels that this venture would enhance its reputation, okay, and and result in a rise in a share price. They believe that the company's expertise would be ideally suited to commercializing the product. So they believe that they have the expertise to commercialize the product. On a personal level, they feel that the venture's success would enhance their generous remuneration package, which includes share options. It is hoped that the resulting increase in share price would enable the options to be exercised in the future. Now, Bezo company has identified, right? The cost of Mainir, a small country in Asia, is an ideal location as it has a large area of warm shallow waters. Meso company has been operating in Mainir for many years and as a result has a well developed infrastructure to enable it to plant, market, and harvest the crop. Right? So it has a well developed infrastructure. And when to plant, monitor, and harvest crop, although a new facility would be needed to process the crop after harvesting, the new plant would employ local people. So this is something good for the local people over there because they are going to employ local people, the new plant, right? So major companies directors have strong ties with the senior government officials in minor and the country's politicians are keen to develop new industries, especially ones with a long-term future. Now the last paragraph, the area identified by major companies are rich fishing ground for local fishermen who have been fishing there for many generations. However, the fishermen are poor and have little political influence. The general perception is that the fishermen contribute little of minus economic development and the coastal area, although generally beautiful, has not been well developed for tourism. So this is a problem, right? It is thought that the high carbon absorbing plant, if grown on a commercial scale, may have a negative impact on the fish stocks. Right, high carbon absorbing plant, if grown on a commercial scale, have a negative impact on the fish stocks and other wildlife in area. The resulting decline in fish stocks may make it impossible for the fishermen to continue with their traditional way of life. Okay, now let's see what are the question requirements are. There are two requirements A and B. Right, A is for 17 marks, that means you cannot take it as a joke, you have to write a lot. But thankfully, now after 2018, the paper has changed, so we will not get a theory marks for 17 marks at least. It could be around eight, five marks, eight marks or up to 10 marks, but not 17 marks. So, but still, how to write the theory? This is a good way to start because you only have to know how to write the theory parts, right? Discuss the key issues that the directors, so they are saying about the key issues 
you need to discuss that the directors of major company should consider when making the decision about whether or not to commercialize the new product and suggest how these issues may be mitigated or resolved. There are two requirements in one, if you see. First, you have to discuss the key issues, right? Second is they have to suggest, they have to suggest, the, okay, how the issues may be mitigated or resolved. So first is key issues and suggest how it will be mitigated. So there are two things. B, advise the board on what Meso company's integrated report should disclose. This black part is nothing. I haven't covered anything. It is just the reputation. Like when I copy pasted it, A part came again. So that's why I have put that black thing. Okay. And B, advise the board on what Meso company's integrated report. You need to know the elements of integrated report, the sixth capital, right? Advise the board on what the integrated report should disclose about the impact of undertaking the project on major companies' capital. I'm sure you know about the six capitals, right? So first one is talking about it is it is not specific, right? It is general. They are asking what are the key issues. So when you answer a key issues, do you need any theory here? Do you need any knowledge from your textbook? No, you need to pick from the case study what are the key issues, right? So now let's see how the answer has been presented. Before I go to the solution, I wanted to show you this thing which is very important. Whenever you open an answer for reviewing answer, right? Always check these things. These things, okay, this very important. All the key points which is there is given here, right? For example, first one is workbook reference. Under what chapter? Because later you might need to review that chapter again if you are not doing well in an answer, when you are writing an answer. So for that you need to refer this box. And then go to the checking the answer, right? So first they are saying is ethical and environmental issues are covered in chapter 1. Takeover regulation is in chapter 9. So now they are talking about takeover regulation also, right? So one is ethical, environmental issues and takeover regulation three things top tips these are your top tips you cannot miss this top tips please read okay read the entire recommend before starting your answer as you will note from the examiner's team's comments below a number of students fail to address how issues could be mitigated right so it is not with the issue that the students are struggling students are struggling with how to mitigate the issues and now part b refers to integrate a report also, you need to know the relevant capitals to include in your answer. Easy marks, right? Don't ever lose your easy marks. Wherever you can score easy marks, please, you have to give your 100% for that. Because in an exam paper, there will be questions which you will not be able to solve, right? You are not perfect. You cannot, you have a plan, right? You have a plan that I'm going to do perfectly all right even after studying so much you will not be able to do it perfect trust me so don't try to correct it there will be some easy marks so you have to target those first and there will be some marks where it will be not so easy but still you should attempt you cannot leave those questions you have to try your best but easy marks yes always you have to target first and you have to score them Okay, so there are numerous easy marks to be gained from environmental and ethical issues surrounding the project as such issues are extremely topical. Environmental and ethical issues are a topic which is always repeated over the exam, especially ethical issues. If you have seen the paper, the pattern of the paper, always ethical questions will appear. At least one ethical question will be there. So this environmental issues, ethical issues, stakeholder issues, all these things, make sure when you are studying, while you are preparing yourself, you know how to, you know the key points, right? Examiner's team comment, okay? So this question was well answered with many students gaining a high proportion of marks for their answers. Answers that gained few marks did not give many points or lack adequate discussion. If you don't give enough points, if you don't discuss your points enough, just bullet points, you will not score well. Some answers consider the issues but not how this could be mitigated. So please work on the mitigation part more. This is how the marking scheme looks like. Always see the marking scheme. It will help you how much you have to write. 
one mark one point so first let's say a they are talking about issues right overarching corporate aim what is the aim one or two marks for discussing what is the aim aim is the wealth maximization second discussion of the project adding value and issues relating to return and risk three to four marks that means at least three to four points you have to give then third one possible suggestions for mitigating the negative issues again three to four points then you are discussing the ethical and environmental issues and also mitigating them and finally other relevant key issues and suggestions for mitigation which is two to three marks and second one is there are six it's for eight marks right and there are six capitals so one to two marks per capital discussed right before i start again i will go to my requirement and see what am i supposed to do am i doing a mistake or not don't be in a hurry to write it's always better to go and check your requirements again i will read a okay discuss key issues as directors should consider when making decisions about whether or not to commercialize new product and suggest how it could be mitigated first i will work on the issue then i will work on the mitigation part you cannot work on the mitigation part before you discuss the issue right there has to be a logical order first you have to discuss about the issue then you have to talk about mitigation so it's three to four points so at least you need three to four points overarching corporate aim okay what is a corporate aim the main aim of the director is to maximize shareholder value and any decisions should be taken with this objective in mind however right so that the main aim is as i told you maximization of shareholders will that is the main aim with that in mind you have to work so however the company has other stakeholders and directors should be sensitive to potential negative implications from implementing the project now key issue one what is the key issue right this is how you have to answer your question first nicely they are using bullet points uh, i'm sorry subheadings under subheadings you are putting your points you are not writing everything under one paragraph first you are writing the aim second your second point second subheading is key issue one so always divide your key issues if you have two uh, three to four points to make in one requirement divide it into different paragraphs by using different subheadings you can say issue number 1 issue number 2 issue number 3 issue number 4 like that you have to keep into four different paragraphs using four different subheadings for each issue you have to name each issue that's that is how you have to answer you are not going to put all the four issues into one paragraph never do that mistake because then the examiner will not know which one is your important point over there so don't mislead your examiner make it very neat and clean and it should be easy to read you yourself should be able to read and understand that this is the point read it to yourself and see are you able to understand are you able to digest by just by the glance of it if you just go through your report or your points or your subheadings are you able to pick up the important points first you say to yourself if you can do that that means it will work for others as well right so now key issue one will the project add value so this is about whether they have to commercialize or not so first question is will the project add value that's why they have discussed about aim now you will be thinking why they have discussed about the aim because such decisions whether you have to go for acquisition or merger whether you have to manage your risk whatever it is in financial management or advanced financial management whatever decisions you have to make investing decisions financing decisions or dividend decisions always your aim you have to check your aim is it going in line with your aim what is the main aim maximization of shareholders wealth anything you do needs to maximize the shareholders wealth if it does then it's okay to go ahead with the decision that's why first i discussed right first they have started with the aim then only you can go with the decision your aim has to be clear it is maximization of shareholders wealth if that is okay then only you can say will the project will go ahead or not so that's why first aim and then the key issues now the first issue to consider is to whether the project will add value to the company whenever you have such kind of a question right where you have to take a decision whether you have to go with the project or not 
this will be your first key issue this will be your first key for any question this you can apply in any other question also the scenario might be different the project the product will be different but the question always remains the same that the project should add value will the project add value or not right positive factors right always start with positive factors and then talk about negative factors because it looks good right when you start with positive factors and then you talk with negative factor imagine if you start with negative and the other way around what impact it will have on the people who are reading it once they read the negative factors they will not be interested to read your positive factors so always talk about benefits whenever you evaluate also talk about benefits first and drawbacks later so positive factors okay at first glance it would appear that the project would be adding value as it is meeting an identifiable market need what is that identifiable market need tackling climate change at first it looks like that they are likely to be positive effect on the company's reputation yes and ultimately share prices as a company is demonstrating a desire and ability to tackle climate change they are demonstrating a desire right somewhere in the paragraph we wrote about uh, desire and all when you when you go through this when you see my video make sure that your text uh, your revision kit is open with the question right yeah, that case study is in front of you so that you can quickly link to which point i'm talking about so there somewhere they told that they have this strong desire to control climate change and all so they're referring to that here and they also they told that this will have a positive impact on the company's reputation so if mezo company champions the work being done by its subsidiary there are likely to be future opportunities for the subsidiary to work on similar projects all these things if you see the points which they are discussing are not from your textbook so even if you have read your textbook hundred of times you have practiced all your theory parts you have gone through memorized all it will not work here it will not work under your exam scenario this is why it will not work i have shown you the proof that's why most of the students they fail afm for this this reasons you cannot just apply your knowledge here this is not knowledge paper this is application based paper you need to apply you need to apply the right knowledge with the scenario there are times when you need to apply knowledge directly from the textbook let's say if they ask advantages and disadvantages of takeover or something like that there you can directly take whatever you have studied from your textbook in those situations yes it will work there are some situations where you need to use the knowledge from textbook and there are some situations like this you need to use your common sense that's it your textbook will not help you here now let's go to other factors to consider yes because they told what what are the factors they have to consider the directors right so these are the other factors to consider nicely they have put under a subheading and even that even under one subheading they they are having different different paragraphs right it needs to be set up like that first before progressing with the project further investigation into its likely value is required right while there is no doubt that such a project would be well received there are risks that must be considered not just from the project itself but also from the behavior of the directors so they are talking about the risk okay which needs to be considered share options form part of the director's remuneration package and they may be tempted to take greater risk as a result so they are talking about share option risk they are talking about share option risk because of the share option now they are tempted to take greater risk as a result in order to boost the share price for this in this line okay from here to here if i have to show you you are using your knowledge also you are linking it with the case study also how you are using your knowledge 
because share options you need to know what is a share option what are the risk a share option could offer right share option will have a greater risk because directors will take actions so that to boost the share price right if they boost the share price it will be beneficial for them greater their remuneration so in boosting that share price there is a greater risk so this comes from your knowledge part but now they are linking this with this that this will form a part of the mission package and they may be tempted to take in this case the directors who are tempted to take greater risk so they are linking this you should be able to link your knowledge with the case study directly just specifying knowledge if you just if you write this sentence like this for example from your knowledge just you are writing share option uh, will present a greater risk that's it you are not explaining it share option is risky it's not enough you need to explain this further and link it with the case study like how they have done it now this may be against the wishes of shareholders and other stakeholders who may have a more risk averse attitude now how they are linking this with this right they are saying that this will be against who have a more risk averse attitude so they are linking this with the other stakeholders the directors actions with shareholders and other stakeholders the project appears to use technology and ideas which by their very nature will be risky whenever some technology they talk about whenever technology is there a new technology is about to come or you are about to invest in a new technology always remember that is very risky right it's it's very risky there will be therefore be uncertainty surrounding the income stream from the project you are uncertain how much income you are going to receive from that project there is that uncertainty about the income stream the extent of the risk should be assessed prior to progressing with the project so first you have to see your risk are the current revenue and the cost estimates realistic this this is the way you have to answer whenever you write about the issues problems you have to talk about are there a current you need to always uh, be skeptical right you have to follow that skeptical mind you need to doubt you cannot take everything at face value you have to bring questions like this are revenues and cost estimates realistic is it reliable is it value is it viable all this type of questions you need to ask as a finance director right so what is the likelihood of competitors entering the market now you see they are they are talking about all the perspectives not just one now they are going to the competitor what is the likelihood of competitors entering the market whenever you go for a new product commercialize you always need to think about all this now your thinking has to be broad you cannot just stick with one you need to think about competitor you need to talk about the supplier you need to talk about the customer are you getting enough customer for that product you need to talk about your marketing you need to talk about everything right so what is the likelihood of competitors entering the market and the potential effects on revenue and market share all these things are from a general knowledge from your common sense you can answer right a full investigation using such means as sensitivity analysis and duration is required to answer such questions now you see how they have linked afm with that this models which we studied they have linked with this to know the effect of the company uh, competitors on the uh, revenue and market share you can use sensitivity analysis and duration and when assessing the extent of the value added by the project it is important that risk is factored into the process by doing so directors will be in a better position if necessary to show stakeholders that they are not taking unacceptable risk in proceeding with the project this is very this is very uh, from your uh, common sense you can answer right it's common whenever you have to take a new decision when you have to go to a new market you always will take all the measures right so that 
when time comes you can show a proof to the stakeholders that you are not taking any unacceptable risk you are not jumping into a decision you are taking all the risk into account and then you are taking a decision so other factors must uh, that must be investigated include the length of time it will take to get the product to the market so these are the uh, other factors length of time to get the product to the market any additional infrastructure required and potential expertise needed whenever new product comes you need more uh, expertise you need additional infrastructure all these things you need to take care of now let's go to the second one plant location here also they are talking about the positive factors and other factors to consider so plant location is issue because issue, location whenever you have to commercialize a new product always remember location plays a very important role where is the location because there they have talked lot about location 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 key issue right positive factors major companies identified an ideal location for plant name minor in asia this is due to major already having a significant presence in minor and has a thus well developed infrastructure there are also strong ties with senior government officials in this country and the government is keen to develop new industries so this is a very good exactly they have taken this from the case study itself but in their own words they didn't copy paste it they changed their words so please don't copy paste from the case study most of the candidates do that they always take the point they just copy paste don't do that it needs to be in your own words all of these factors are very positive for the potential development of the project so they are talking but that because of the strengths that major company has it's it's there's a huge potential development for the project now the ties to the senior government officials are likely to be particularly useful when trying to deal with legal and administrative issues whenever you have a tie with the government right senior government officials in a country you can always bypass the lengthy process of legal and administrative issues that is one advantage thus reducing the time between development and production actually starting this can reduce your time it's like you're lobbying you're using the government for your own advantage other factors to consider despite the positive factors mentioned above there are ethical and environmental issues to consider prior to making a financial decision regarding plant location whenever you talk about a change in location or a location right you're opening some factory in some country or in some location always remember this two things ethical issues environmental issues and also supplier issues uh, i'm sorry uh, stakeholder issues so these three things always keep in mind whenever location word comes because it plays a big role right so the likely effect on the fisherman's livelihood could produce adverse publicity as could potential damage effects on the environment and wildlife environmental impact tends to generate considerable debate and mesa will want to avoid any negative effects on his reputation particularly as the project is supposed to be environmentally friendly so they are saying that if they go ahead with the project it's going to reduce the negative impact because it is supposed to be environmentally friendly right the fact that mesa has close ties with the senior political figures and government in general may create negative feeling if it is felt that mesa could influence the government into making decisions that are not in the best interest of the locality and the country as a whole this is a relationship that will have to be managed very carefully right so in one way they are saying is good that they are having ties with senior political figures and all but in the other way they are saying it could be bad it could be viewed as a bad as something bad why because mesa could influence the government right for its own advantage which might not be the best interest of the other people now let's go to risk mitigation risk you need to talk about because we were talking about risk 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 right given that mesa has an excellent corporate image it is unlikely that it will want to ignore the pl uh, plight of the fishermen they have in the beginning itself they have talked about that they have an excellent reputation or an image corporate image right so first whenever you start like this you have to start with the good things i told you you have to say that since it has a good reputation any reputed company you take they will never want to they will always take measures to protect that reputation they never want to destroy the reputation right 
because repetition is something which is very hard to earn right but it's very easy to lose you need to protect it always so if they take any such actions which is against which is going to destroy the life of fishermen this will be seen as a bad this will destroy the image destroy that excellent corporate image of meza right so therefore it is unlikely that it will want to ignore the plight of the fishermen all this are common sense you know that no one will want to destroy their own reputation by their own hands by doing such act because they always have to add ethical so it could try to work with the fishermen and involve them in the process pointing out the benefits of the project to the environment as a whole now there's the mitigation you can see a risk mitigation now they are seeing the mitigation things how to mitigate now this has to come from your your own judgment right everyone's recommendation everyone's mitigation might be different from each other because mitigation is something which you might not you will not study from your textbook no one will teach you it depends under that scenario what how you are going to recommend how you are going to mitigate based on the case study from case study to case study it differs that's why this area most students they lack so you just need to be practical that's it something which could actually be used this for this part you need to think out of the box you need to think a little bit you need to bang your head on right to come up with ideas to come up with mitigation like for example here your mitigation when you write an answer might be different from theirs but here let's see what they have written they are saying that they could try to work with the fishermen and involve them in the process pointing out the benefits of the project to the environment as a whole so they are saying that if they point the benefits of the project to the fishermen without ignoring the effect on their livelihood maybe the fishermen would agree to that right so it could offer the fishermen priority on new jobs that are created and emphasize the additional wealth that the project is likely to create mezo could also consider alternative locations for the plant so this is also one of the mitigation thing right this also could be a mitigation strategy alternative locations although this is likely to be expensive now you see how they have told one uh, mitigation right one way to mitigate and at the same time they are saying that is likely to be expensive this is how you need to answer even though this this is there it's likely to be expensive given the need for certain infrastructure already present in minor alternatively the company would uh, could try to find an alternative process for growing and harvesting the plant that would not have adverse effects on wildlife and feedstock again this is an expensive option and any such cost would have to be set against expected revenues to determine value added as mentioned mesa will have to manage its relationships with miners companies very carefully as it does not want to appear to be influencing government decision right it needs to manage its relationship this is one of the other, other mitigation mesa needs to make it very clear that it's following proper legal and administrative procedure and it is working with the government to protect and improve the country rather than exploit it for its own gains now let's go to the conclusion it is important that mesa considers all of the likely benefits and costs related to the project always whenever you have to take a decision whether it's investing whether it's financing whether it's dividend whatever decision you always need to weigh the benefit and the cost that would be a wise decision rather than just following blindly the benefit and ignoring the cost or not taking the cost into account is not a wise decision you need to take benefits and cost and see which one is more right so always you need to take the likely benefits and cost and relate to the project not just to itself but also to the country and its inhabitants right not just cost and benefit to you personally you need to see whether it's benefiting the country whether it's benefiting the other stakeholders because remember your one wrong decision like if you just take care of yourself 
that you are having a financial motive or you are getting a financial benefit but it's not affecting the other stakeholders or the social environment it is going to have a negative impact on your reputation you also need to take care of your reputation as well not just your finance financial benefits or cost that's why it's very important that you also take care of other stakeholders and your environment while gaining prompt approval from the government will allow the project to proceed and become profitable more quickly it is important that measure focuses on the effects of the project and alternative ways to proceed in order to avoid any overall negative impact on its reputation exactly what i've told you now let's go to the second part second part was about integrated reporting we'll again read the requirements okay advise the board on what major companies integrated reporting should disclose about the impact of undertaking the project on major companies capital so they are saying what the report should disclose based on the six capitals now nicely just see how beautifully they have divided into different uh, paragraphs using different subheadings using six different subheadings 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this should be your approach right so integrated reporting integrated reporting looks at the ability of an organization to create value and consider important relationship both internally and externally it involves consider the impact of the proposed project and says capital as follows let's go to the financial capital financial capital is better to start with financial capital because it is very easy to explain right so integrated reporting should explain how commercializing the product should generate revenues over time be an important element in diversification and make a significant contribution to the growth of mezzo the report should also in- disclose the financial strategy implications if additional funding was required and what finance cost commitments mezzo will assume this three things needs to be there in the financial part of the integrated reporting right financial capital under integrated reporting now let's go to the manufactured capital the report should identify the new facility as an important addition to measures productive capacity it also it would also show how the infrastructure that mezo already has in mena will be used to assist in growing and processing the new plant so they talk about infrastructure here now let's go to intellectual now when you see the different capitals here they didn't explain that financial capital includes this financial capital as this or manufactured capital means this no they directly linked it to the case study so don't waste your time explaining each of them this is not a knowledge based paper again i'm repeating you don't have to define what is financial capital manufactured capital intellectual capital and blah blah directly go to the point and hit it right you just need to hit the point because you don't have time time will be running out you need to take care of time as well intellectual intellectual is the report also shows how mezzo intends to protect the plant and hence its future income by some sort of protection such as patent yeah you need to protect that so they are talking about it also should highlight the development of the plant fulfills the aim of the subsidiary to develop products that have beneficial impacts on other capitals now human measure should show how the employment opportunities provided by the new facility linked to how measure has been using local labor in minor so they are talking about employment opportunities here it should highlight the ways in which the new facility allows local labor to develop their skills however the report also needs to show whether measure is doing anything to help the fishermen deal with their loss of livelihood right since the adverse impact on the fishermen would appear to go against measure strategy of supporting local farming communities social and environmental the development of plant and new facility should be reported in the context of measure strategy of being a good corporate citizen in minor it should explain how the new plant would assist economic development there and in turn how this will enhance the value derived to measure from operating in that country and finally the natural right the report needs to set the adverse impact on the area and fishing stock in the context of the long term environmental benefits so here they are talking about the long term environmental benefits 
the development of the plant brings. It also needs to show the commitment that MESA is making to mitigate the environmental damage. Commitment to mitigate environmental damage. Right? So that's it for this. I hope by now you must have understood how to approach the revision kit questions for AFM, right? So question one, each day I'll be uploading one video on one question from the revision kit of AFM. So this was one, question one, and they have told you that question one to 10 here. One to 10 will cover the roles and responsibilities towards stakeholders. So make sure like this, you try to attempt other questions as well on your own and see how you are able to deal with it. So that's it for today. And do watch my next videos. My next video will be out soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like, comment and share with your friends. Thank you and take care.